y'all welcome back to cc's texas garden guys i did a lot of clean up out here and um so it's looking pretty good i took all the dead leaves off the plants i uh went around and i put black cow uh compost around a lot of the, the cabbages and things like that things that uh the greens that needed some nitrogen I went on and fed them. I put some plant tone on all of the beds and everything looks really good this morning. We're supposed to be having some rain coming later. I do need to, I feel like I need to put this leaf of life in a bigger pot. It's just running out of space. So over here in my broccoli bed. I think I might wind up having to harvest this broccoli head early because it's already starting to get yellowing on here, which means that it's gonna be trying to, to open up. We don't want it to get yellow. We want it to stay fully green because if it turns yellow, that means the flowers are blooming. I may have to harvest this head and just get the side shoots off of this one. I understand these plants have been in here through the whole summer so yeah <laughs> but I do have more broccoli coming up in my hydroponic and I look at my girl this morning she has some blooms all over her I see a lot of, of these uh, calyxes that I need to collect at the top and I didn't want to have to it's tall <laughs> It's taller than me, but I'm gonna have to reach up there to get those that are um, that are ready. But yeah, it's looking good this morning. We have our peppers. We're trying to get red. They're getting the orange right now. They're gonna turn red eventually. And voila! Yep. Look, the butterfly looking like where? Where is? Yeah. So I removed the basil from here, as you can see. It kind of looks rough in here right now, but in a bounce back, I have my Georgia collards in here. I have some dragon tongue beans in here. I thought these were regular green beans, but like these are, because I got some regular green beans right here. But when I looked, I was like, oh, that's my dragon tongue beans. There they are. Yep, these are dragon tongue beans. And I have some over here as well. So I'm going to do, I'll take them off there and harvest them in a little bit. But this one has gone completely yellow. It's trying to dry on up. I'm going to let that one dry on up now. But there's some more of the dragon tongue beans. And uh, there's also some rutabagas in here. They're definitely not like the other rutabagas and the, these. I planted these out earlier. The bed is kind of looking rough. I do need to get that grass over there. These, I need to collect these seeds before it rains today. This is my cinnamon basil. I was waiting to them seeds to um, dry up and they are ready to harvest. And then I can take that plant down for my uh, collard tree. Can have more space. I need to harvest these greens. The bugs are eating them up right now. They are eating them up. I don't have them covered. So they're just having whole feast. So what I'm going to do is uh, harvest a lot of them really low. I'm going to put some diatonaceous earth on there. And, and I'm going to cover that one and the kale as well. I'm going to cover these beds up. Because they have shredded that Swiss chard. Mm-hmm. I even put some compost in here with my uh, grapes. These are my Concord grapes, which is trying to grow into the fence. I don't know what you're doing over here. They're trying to grow into the fence. Yeah, but I noticed that I got a new little leaf on there. Yeah, that's cool. 
Concord grapes. And I put fertilizer in here, compost in here. Same with this bed. Look at my red Russian kills. They're ready to stand up now. I'm like, okay. Last year, I had just one red Russian kill in this bed by itself. And that thing was huge. Something else growing up? No, the leaves looked different. I thought there was something else growing in here with my turnip tops. It was just the way the leaves were looking all shiny. Got some beans here growing. And I'm really believing this is an eggplant right here. See? that The leaves look like they're eggplantish. <laughs> it's just one by itself. I don't know. I probably planted an eggplant. But everything looks pretty good. And then we get this natural rain that comes in. It's going to make things just shine. It looks so awkward because everything over here is full. And because I'm taking out these karabis as they get bigger. So it's looking blank here. But I will be... Matter of fact, these karabis probably in the next week going to have to get harvested. Because they are getting big. This one isn't. That one is getting there, and that one down there. Um, but I'll plant something else out in here. And this bed as well. All full of fertilizer, food for the red rock cabbages, red mammoth uh, rock cabbages, something like that. Yeah, they're supposed to be some big red cabbages. Of course, my little flower bed. So it's looking pretty good out here. Um, like I said, I fertilized everything. Oh, I do want to show y'all. Okay, so this here is my pigeon peas. And they have peas in them. They're actually not peas, they're beans. And you use these in a lot of Caribbean dishes. So no wonder Planner was so excited about his pigeon pea. So now I know. I've even looked up some dishes to uh, to create with them. And uh, I can't wait to see what it tastes like. But there they are. These are pigeon peas. If you've never grown any, um, Planner Garden TV. I'll tag him in the description. But he grows his. They get really, really tall. Mine is not that tall. I'm getting a lot of little new um, branches on there as well but his was really tall and you harvest these it's not ready to harvest yet but I can feel the beans inside here and you make dishes with the Caribbean dishes so this is cool something I have never uh, grew and you know challenge yourself if there's something you haven't ever grew or you hear something in the garden community, sorry, all the traffic, but you hear something in the garden community like when uh, Hands in the Dirt did the candy roasters, hadn't heard about candy roasters, um, the Kushaw squash, which those uh, squash vine boards took it out, but I tried to grow it. I'll try again, but one of the things Planner talked about was these, and uh, I grew it. So I'm excited just to see what pigeon pea tastes like. <laughs> okay, so I did 